I'm having a problem with my ANET A8. The extruder won't heat up and I get a unhandled exception error and the uh, heater failed to heat. So this is the error I get. Unhandled communication error and you see the extruder never never heated up. And this is the error I get on the panel of my ANET A8. Heating failed, printer halted, please reset. I can measure the voltage coming off the motherboard and it is 12 volts coming off the plug from for the uh, extruder heater. So I know my motherboard is not fried. So I got the heating element taken out of my extruder hot end, but I have to take this captain tape off and separate the thermistor and the wires and stuff like that, hopefully without cutting into any insulation. Ah, see, look at that. See the multimeter jumping up? It's set to 200 ohms and if you move the wire just right, it will make contact and then you have a good uh, heater. So it's not the heating element, it's the connectors of the, uh, from the heating element to the insulated wire. So you see these uh, cheap little connectors on here that they put on there. The ANET certainly is not built for uh, <laughs> quality. It's built for uh, quantity, basically. Let's see which one is bad. Yeah. So these little uh, connectors on your hot end are the culprit for this. I'm just taking some wire cutters and pulling this uh, connector back. So I need to cut this insulation off. So we have a problem here. How do you join these two wires together? Because you can't solder them. You're printing ABS, this bullet, heating bullet, gets up to 250 degrees Celsius and solder melts at 190 to 200 degrees Celsius. Twist the ends and try to reuse these gold uh, connectors. So this has little bits of uh, insulation in there, stuck in there. I'm just taking my wire cutters and kind of roughing it up, getting all the uh, old insulation stuck in there. Just trying to get this on there and then crimp it down a little bit. And I have these crimpers for micro connectors, but I don't know if it'll work or not. So I've got the bare wire inside the gold connector and I'm going to overlap them like this and squish them together with my needle nose pliers and hopefully have a good connection. And just crimp it in several places doesn't have to be pretty, just has to be functional. And rinse and repeat for the other connector. Take a pair of needle nose pliers and kind of reform this connector.
But the only thing about crimping it this way is you won't be reusing these connectors. So if this bullet ever goes bad, you'll either have to buy a whole new bullet, heating bullet and wires, or cut this off and buy new connectors and you know. So you can buy these for five to ten dollars on eBay and Amazon. But this is just a fix until I can uh, buy a replacement. And slide the high temp insulation back over the connectors so they don't short out. And let's run a continuity test real quick. And my cheap little multimeter set to 200 ohms. And ta-da, we got connectivity. And I don't see any intermittent connections there. I'm going to take some capped on tape and wrap it around the thermistor and the heating bullet. So I have my thermistor and heating element wrapped up and capped on tape again. I'll put it back into the heating Put it back into the heating block. Make sure the thermistor goes into the hole. And then tighten down the grub screw. So before I wrap all my cables up again in the cable sheath, I'm gonna test this out. I set it to preheat at PLA and the hot end is going up. So this is how you fix a heating problem with just about any printer. You troubleshoot whether you have voltage at the main board here. You troubleshoot whether you have a open or uh, some registered resistance on the heating element. You should get maybe 8 to 10 ohms on your heating element. If you don't, then it's probably an open connection on one of these wires or your heating element's burned out. But that's how you troubleshoot a uh, 3D printer heating problem.